And in this example, I have one fraction divided by another. And this is a really big fraction right here. And so I'm going to hope that this simplifies some. I'm going to start, though, by taking this division problem and rewriting it as a multiplication problem. So instead of dividing by this, I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal of that. So I'll rewrite the whole problem like this. x squared plus 8x plus 15 over x squared plus 4x minus 12. I've just rewritten the first fraction. It's going to be that times x plus 6 over x plus 3. Now let's look at this first fraction. Those are both trinomials, the numerator and the denominator. And trinomials can often factor. So let's rewrite these with those trinomials in factored form. x squared plus 8x plus 15 factors like this. x plus 3 times x plus 5. And you can check that by doing a FOIL. You can see your first terms, x times x, gives you the x squared. Your outer terms, x times 5, is a 5x plus x times 3. That's a 3x. 5x and 3x gives you the 8x. And then the last term, 5 times 3, is your 15. So that works. That's the correct factorization of that numerator. Now let's do the same thing in the denominator here x squared plus 4x minus 12, you might see that that's going to factor as x plus 6 times x minus 2. And we'll check that real quick. First, outer, inner, last. First gives us an x squared. That's good. The outer is a minus 2 times the x, and the inner is a plus 6 times the x. So that's a minus 2x and a positive 6x which, sure enough, gives us a positive 4x. And then the last, the 6 times the negative 2 gives us a negative 12. So we're good there, too. And now let's multiply by that. So it's times x plus 6 over x plus 3. And now you can see some things do cancel out. The x plus 3 here cancels out, and the x plus 6 cancels out. And that's good. That's a lot better than having to multiply the three binomials together. So we're simply left with x plus 5 over x minus 2. And that's our answer. Again, you can't cancel out those x's like that. You can only cancel factors. That's what we were doing here. We were canceling out factors. x is not a factor because the 5 is added up there and the 2 is subtracted down there. So that's your answer right there, x plus 5 over x minus 2, and it can't be simplified any further.